much fiction, not much bad. Got you twisted. Oh, uh, and ain't nobody got time for that. See, my moment has not. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Passenger, and thank you for joining us on Living on Assignment Radio. Woo, woo. So glad to be on live with you all tonight. Sorry we are starting a little late. Um, but we got all got caught in the traffic coming down Century or going through Inglewood after the soccer game. And shout out to the winning team. I don't know which team won, but shout out to the winning team because they all out there. So <laughs> this is the new normal for Inglewood, California with the, the, with the, um, the center there, the, the stadium there. This is the new normal. So we have to figure out a new route on Sunday evenings when there is a game of any kind, game, concert, show, whatever. But anyway, thank you for being tuned in to Living on a Simon Radio. Hey, Patricia, listen, if you're listening to iHeart, iTunes, Accelerated Radio, y'all know the drill. Tweet, text, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever you got to do, let somebody know to tune in. And then all my Facebook livers, hey, y'all, tap, tap, hard love, and let somebody know that you are watching us live. Let somebody know that you are watching us live. And uh, we just want to... Um, uh, just have a good conversation. Listen, tonight is going to be it's it's going to be a wonderful conversation, but it's also one that's quite personal and hits home. Um, and so we're gonna get into it. My guest tonight is Miss Demisha Lofton Thomas, and she is over the crew. And we're gonna talk about the crew. We have an event coming up next Sunday, the twenty third, right? That's twenty twenty third. The twenty third, um, a park event. So we're gonna get into all that. But Demisha, say hey to everyone. Everybody, tell us hey, everybody. who you are and a little bit about yourself. Hey, everyone. My name is Demisha Lofton Thomas, yeah. and I am the mother of Jerick Thomas, whom was murdered seven years ago. Yeah. And a couple of days was his birthday. Mm. A couple of days ago, it was his birthday. Wow. And it was, I, I had my ups and downs. It yeah. was kind of emotional. It kind of started off rough, but yeah. once I got to the cemetery and laid there in the grass with my son, I, I felt better. Yeah. You know, I've been I've been back actually yeah. every day after that. So today yeah. was my third day. And I'm just trying to get grounded in, get back to normalization yeah. of being who I'm supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. And when I texted you the other day, you told me that you were, yeah, I think you had just left the cemetery. You were maybe I was still, still there. there. You were still there, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, So for those that know me, you know. 2018 my oldest son Daniel's life was taken and um, following that um, God had it so that um, I connected in community with other mothers who had gone through um, my experience um, because even though I know my family and friends y'all love me um, but you know it's 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 important that when you go through traumatic experiences for those who've gone through anything traumatic it's important to find community and um, what I was so blessed was my good friend Mustafa hey Mustafa um, introduced me to you Demisha yes. uh, and um, maybe about a year later I think yeah it was might have been about it, a year after Daniel uh, was life was taken yeah I think been. it was like a year and some months yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. And um, and so, but I want to. I want. I, I made in my up in my mind an intention to share this because you don't know. I I don't know if I. Well, I know I've said thank you, but um, several. You know, after we had met a few times and you had an event coming up, mm -hmm. you were getting the banner done. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I did not know is Demisha had, I don't even know how you got Daniel's picture, but she found Daniel's picture, maybe off the internet or something. And, um, and someone texted me and they sent me a screenshot of the band. They were like, Najuma, I saw Daniel's picture on this banner. And I was like, what? Hey, Terrell. I was like, what were you talking about? And she sent me a screenshot of the banner and you had placed Daniel's picture on this banner. There's a banner uh, that the crew has put together and has the faces of so many uh, young men and women whose lives are taken um, through street violence, gang violence, gun violence. Um, and you thought enough of me. And my son to put his picture there, yes. um, you know, just out the kindness of your heart. And I just thought that was the most special thing. Um, and I just really appreciate it. Oh, thank yeah, you. I really appreciate you, that. You know, mm -hmm. when my son was murdered, I hey. told myself I wanted to do something different yeah. because I felt like I was alone and by myself yeah. for many a days. Yeah. And even through through this journey I push people away because hurt people hurt people absolutely but at the same time of me being hurt and yeah. hurting people I also wanted to do something yeah. that was righteous and absolutely yeah yeah 
being a being a mother of a murdered child, I know how you feel. Yeah. And just because our kids die, that yeah. doesn't mean they go away. So I'm Yeah. I feel that God laid it on my heart to continue this mission. Yeah. Not just to work with uh new work with kids, but to work right. with other mothers and fathers who yeah. have lost their kids and yeah. that's how the crew came about. Yeah. And the crew is consist of we call it a social club. I got you. I'm a mm -hmm. I'm one of the founders of a social club and a motorcycle club. Yeah. And people ask to join those type of clubs. Yeah. But when you're thrown yeah. into something like this, this that we did not at. ask yeah. to join is is Yeah, it's hard. It's very hard yeah. and it hits so many people on yeah. so different yeah. levels and so different emotions that yeah. it is sometimes it's unbearable. Yeah. So Yeah. My my thing is I don't believe in Black Lives Matter. Absolutely. I believe in all all lives matter. Yeah. Our kids' lives matter. Yeah. Like it was a black person that took my kid. Just yeah. I'm sure it was Absolutely. a black person that took yeah. your kid. Another so young man. How can somebody say mm -hmm. black lives matter, but it's yet it's black people just snatching mm -hmm. our kids? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the crew, like I said, is con yeah. is condensed of so many people. Yeah. But in in the midst of that, some of us have our own organization. Absolutely. So yeah. I also have Forever Twenty One Fallen hey, Twenty Song the Jerry Foundation. Yeah. But again, the crew is consists of all of us. Yeah. And every day, somebody yeah. joined this this, cl this club, club that nobody not wants to be. With, not knowing yeah. that it's it's actually a club. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm trying to create something to get awareness. Yeah. Not just about this club, but about the mothers. And yeah. I can't really speak for the fathers, but I know they go through it too. Absolutely. But yeah. The mothers when they go through something like this. It yeah. hits us on so many Listen, different yeah, levels, yeah. like emotional, mentally, uh, physically, yeah, financially, yeah. and sometimes we end up yeah. in shambles. Absolutely, yeah. And there's nothing for us out there to Absolutely. say. Absolutely, hey, yeah. How can I help you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you can say, "Oh, I got a mental health therapist. So I want you to see," but really, can you really relate to Absolutely. what's going on with me? Right, right. If right. you have not lost, lost a, child. a child, yeah. It's a different kind of loss. And uh, hey, Auntie Cynthia, my auntie's on. Thank you. She says hello to you Tell as her, well. <laughs> she She's listening all the way from uh, Bogalusa, Louisiana. And my family there, when they got word that Daniel's life had been taken, they, they uh, a few of them came up for the services, but they have just loved on me. So I love all my family in Bogalusa, Louisiana. And I appreciate you all. And listen, for those that are just tuning in, if you listen to iHeart, iTunes Radio, and all my Facebook family, hey, y'all. Uh, I'm talking to with my crew member, uh, Demisha uh, Lofta Thomas, um, who it organizes the crew. And for those that may not have figured it out, the crew is made up of women, mothers who have lost their children um, to violence, gun violence, street violence. Um, and when I, Daniel's life was taken, I was introduced to Demisha and have become part of the crew. Um, and, um, and, you know, so, you know, and again, like you said, it's not a club that anyone asked to be a part of. And I will be honest with you, Demisha, and, and with others, and I've said this before to people, you know, initially people were trying to connect me with other mothers um, who had been through this experience. Or who going through this experience because it doesn't end it's every day it's the experience right every day you're we're dealing with this um and at first i would rejected it i was like i don't i don't want to be around a bunch of mothers whose kids have you know it was just too painful um but it happened our introduction happened at the right time right. i was a bit more receptive open because i had to figure that out you know what i'm right. saying i had to go through some process but um but, you know, and so since that time, and I'll, I'll share this, Demisha and I, and along with, some, with four, four other mothers, yes, Barbara. we, um, Barbara, Barbara, Barbara and Pritchett, Lawanda, Lawanda um, Hawkins, yeah. and... Cortland. Cortland, yeah. We we wrote a grant uh, for a, one of the peace and healing centers here in the county. We didn't get it, but we were we we were up there, but we weren't selected, um, you know. And so that's the work that's happening. For those that may not be aware, there are a number of mothers and fathers. I know there are dads out there that are organizing, that are working together, that are building coalitions like what we're doing mm -hmm. to bring awareness, but also to bring services and attention to, you know, the parents, the mothers, the fathers. Others that 
have to live with these burdens, the siblings, the children. Yes. Um, and so anyone that knows me, who follows me, you all know I'm pretty, I've been pretty open about the journey and still share some things. Um, and so we, there's an event coming up. Yes. Um, and I want all y'all that love me, all y'all that listen um, to join us if you can. So let's talk about the event that's happening. Um, and then we want to talk about your son. Um, but let's talk about the event that's happening next Sunday. So the event is kind of like hey, in connection with my son. Yeah. Um, the first year when my son was murdered, I celebrated by having an all white party because yeah. I wanted to see what it felt like to party in heaven with my son. Yeah. So I had a party and I also put on a picnic. Yeah. Because my granddaughter told my son one one of his birthdays, mm-hmm. oh, you're gonna have a Spider Man party. Wow. So the picnic was based around Spider Man. Yeah. And over the years I was like, Well, it's just not my son. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even though my son is my son yeah. and your son is your son Absolutely. but your son is also my son yeah. and I, I think that's how God actually tended for it to be Absolutely. so I decided to say okay we're going to do this picnics and you, we, right. we right. the mothers right. is going to do this picnic together every yeah. year in January because we miss our kids Absolutely. and this is how, every a way day. of how we, every day. I, we're honoring our kids that, that we lost here in the yeah. Due to the, this gun violence. So, on Sunday, it's the fourth Sunday of the month, which is usually the Peace Ride. Yeah. And the Peace Ride usually go to three locations where yeah. someone's life is taken and yeah. they do it a prayer. And this, this Sunday yeah. coming up, the Peace Ride is going to end up at our picnic. And mm. our picnic, like I said, is based around our kids that right. are no longer here. And yeah. this is a way that we're we're recognizing our kids not Absolutely. just in april for victims of crime week or even yeah. victims of crime day this yeah. is a, a day that we're honoring our kids honoring our kids yeah and so we want you to come out yeah. If you're listening to iHeart, iTunes, Accelerator Radio, we want y'all to come out here. Peace and it. all of you on my Facebook Live, y'all tap, tap, heart, love, share out with your followers. Uh, let somebody know that we are on live, but we want y'all to come out. So tell them where the picnic's going to be, what time, all that great stuff. And if you follow me on my Instagram or Facebook, you'll see the flyer. But let's share, everybody, t- share with everybody where it's going to be. The picnic is going to be, like I said, this Sunday coming up at Magic Johnson Park. Um, you can enter on the El Segundo side. Yes, yes, It's from yes. 12 to hard 6. Love, hard love. And like I said, the Peace Ride is going to end there. The Peace Ride use the gather up on um, Figueroa and 115th um, mm-hmm. at the Green Line Station. Yeah. And they do those three locations, and they're going to end up at our picnic. Yeah. And they have the motorcycles, the car vets, yeah. the low riders. And I invite anybody out there that you know yeah. someone that have lost a child yeah please tell come them about this and, event yeah, and come and join and us. come join us yeah. because this event would be so healing yeah i heard her um juju say that she didn't want to meet any absolutely any mothers right but i promise you it's yeah. such a healing, healing. feeling yeah. to actually sit down and talk to somebody that actually Knows. know what you're going through. absolutely it's not the exact same feeling but they know or the exact same way yeah but they know they how know. you feel unlike yeah. when it's other people around you and be like i know how you feel right. but yet you right. never lost a child right so right. please never say that yeah please never say that because words are powerful yeah and yeah, you don't are. want to imagine how no I you feel. don't you don't want this no that's right you do not want this at all not at all and so we are so glad um um to have you joining us tonight so Magic Johnson Park Sunday. What time does the the uh, does it begin? It's going to be begin. We're going to be there early, so I'm gonna say it's going to be at, begin at 11 a.m. Yes. and it's going to end at six. Bring your tents, bring your your chairs, and come out and enjoy. Come you out know, and join, join us. Yeah. We got, we're going to have plenty of food. Yes, we're we're feeding everyone. Um, we're also taking donations, <laughs> hmm. but we're going to feed everyone, and this is our way of paying it forward to yeah. the next individual. Yeah. And we're not in this alone. Absolutely. And, and we just want to share the love that we have with inside us and the love that we have for our own babies yeah. with the next mom or yeah. dad and their babies as well. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things that I'm learning, Demisha, in this in this journey is 
um, this has now become part of my ministry. Yes. I had the opportunity to um, share a few words of encouragement at an event last year. It was hosted by a funeral home, a cemetery. Hey, Sabrina, as you all come on in, tap, tap, heart, love, um, by one of the funeral homes here in L.A. And, um, and you know, having been through what I've been through, I shared a little bit, just a little bit of my story, though there are people in the room who's, you know, family members had transitioned friends all for various reasons. Um, but after the event was over, a mother came to me and she was there with her two daughters and she said thank you for sharing she said because it's been a lonely journey for me i have i don't know anyone else who's lost their son and her son had just uh, been killed a few months prior wow. to the event and so she had used that sem that funeral home uh, for his um, you know for her for his services mm -hmm. and so we were able to in that moment i was able to minister to her um, and one of the things that i share with people um and actually, I'm also going that Saturday to another mother that Saturday before on 22nd, another mother whose son was killed in a car accident. But one of the things that I share with mothers now is if 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 my life means anything right now mm -hmm. is that you can make it. That's right. Because I and y'all know those that follow me on, on all my social media and anyone listening, I'm pretty open that um, I, there were days you know um that i was and and still days where i struggled but there were days where i was like yeah you i you know we can check out now right. <laughs> you know but you can have and i told god you can have it all and so um you know you, you just feel like you can't make it you're not gonna make it you don't want to make it even um but i tell people now part of my ministry is if if my life means anything because I'm still trying to figure some of that out. But if it means anything, it means you can make it. That, that's right. Yeah. And yeah. it's funny. That and that's what I think the, the beauty of the crew of that community that we have. Yeah, go I'm sorry. You're going to say something. So I was going to hey, say, Maddie. it's funny that you tap, say tap, that, 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 you know, sometimes you really want to check out. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I had my days where yeah. hey, I Trina. found out that the person of that killed my son was murdered and mm. I rejoiced and I celebrated mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I had one bottle too many of Jose mm, I got you she said day, one bottle too many one bottle too many <laughs> I got and you and the next day the devil said I got you kill you mm. so it's a lot of things yeah, that you gotta be careful. people yeah. don't know about yeah. me and even though I'm very open and transparent and I share that right I don't think people really hear, hear what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, where your mind had gone right, to. Yeah, right, So yeah. I, I really had to step back away from people, places, and things yeah. because my mental health was really Come in, in Come jeopardy. Yeah. And it's not just the fact that my son was shot just seconds after we we hung up the phone yeah but it was also the fact that the paramedics dropped him and shattered his skull mm -hmm. it was also the fact that a month after the devil said got you kill yourself yeah my job gave me the assignment of pulling up kids that was murdered in mm. the dcfs system wow so I too much had trauma to, too yes much trauma. i had to get away because yeah, yeah your where mind. i was i was gonna hurt somebody yeah 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 i feel you so you know when yeah. when when my cup is full, I right. can get out there and I can assist and I can help anyone. Yeah. And I can love on everyone. Yeah. And just like your your yeah. your assignment, mm -hmm. God gave me the assignment too. I just didn't know how I was gonna do Absolutely. the assignment. And I was sharing with him that, you know, I had the podcast once before yeah. and I made really need to tap back into yeah. it. And, and you yeah. know, it's a journey, it's, it's something journey. to think about. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to just talk about the death of my son right. or being the, my son's voice or being our kids' voice because our kids' lives matter too. Right. But I want to tap, tap into life journey. Absolutely. Theory. You know, I, Absolutely. I used to say I'm a hood therapist. I'm a life coach. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm raw and I'm uncut. And yeah. I used to didn't understand why pastors was gravitating towards me and right. wanting me to right. join their right. church. Right, right, right. I get it now. Yeah, I yeah. Get it now. Sabrina Duke says, "How do I donate? I'm not a mother who lost a child, but my child at in uh, is at the age of 15 lost her father to gun violence. So I would like to support." Okay, that's a great question. Thank you, Sabrina. Demisha, tell everybody how they can support the the picnic that's happening next Sunday. Um, they can c cash at me. Okay. At the Brownie Lady is T H A B R O. W N I E L A D Y and um 
the brownie lady is a dollar sign in front or they can zell me at 323-877-2213 my name would come up but it will also come up as my son's organization okay let's spell the brownie lady one more time so we put in the chat the um the brownie lady T-H-A, is right t-h-a 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 b-r-o-w-n-i-e lady l-a-d-y wonderful so thank you uh sabrina for that um because they are receiving uh donations um for that so thank you sabrina and we appreciate you so very much um and again this is you know the picnic is centered around mothers and families uh, survive victims uh victim families they call them that's the technical term um but you know we this we want everybody to come and support because what I learned, I'm sure you know, is when our when our children's lives are taken, it affected the whole community. Yes, you know the people that came to my son's services, and even the people that I just saw a man today, today um, at 7-Eleven. His sons played football with my sons, and mm-hmm. he, at first he was like, "You look familiar," and then we got to talk, and it was like, "Oh, that's the connection." Um, and so it impacted so many people. And so, so many people are impacted um, by these losses. Um, and so, we want the community to come out. This is a community opportunity to gather around a very important issue, a very important uh, challenge that we have in our community. And we want to be all part of the solution, all part of the healing process, really. This is an opportunity for healing, and we all want to be part of that. So, thank you, Sabrina, for your for your gift, your donation in yes, advance. Thank you, Sabrina. And, and anybody else that wants to uh, give a donation, um, it's here in the the um, it's in the the chat feed on Facebook. So listen, anyone just joining us on iHeart, iTunes, Accelerated Radio, and all my Facebook livers, I'm talking tonight with uh, my sister friend Demisha uh, Lofton Thomas. She and I shared stories in that both of our sons' lives were taken, and we're now part of the crew. Um, and I've been inducted in, and I'm so very grateful. This community of women who have shown me so much support, and we support each other now. And there are thousands of mothers and and one of the things that I get to do Demisha and this is just happened this week is um, I now get to serve with along with Skip Townsend and Taco and then some other people we are part of um, the DA's um, uh, victims of violence uh, advisory council is that so? yeah we, that just happened this week so what that does is that allows us to elevate our issue around when you're a victim families um and so that just happened this week uh, that's one of the areas so yeah 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 so that's, that's one of the areas we're talking about but that just happened this week and there'll be a more formal uh announcement about that but i know we can share it a little bit but okay. there'll be a more formal announcement but that allows us to lift these issues and so be very clear for those that are listening those that are watching that you know th- that that it's not just about you know the poor the mothers you know hurting it's like this is a it's, real concern a and the system. and the ripple effect is so um is so is so grand that even our DA's office recognizes that there must be something done and so we are now part of that council that will give voice to one of the issues other issues that we get to, that are being raised but that this is one of them you know when our children are being lost to violence and so know that there is a lot of um work happening behind the scenes that you may not realize and that's that's what the part that people don't uh, understand Demisha when our children's lives are taken we still have there's like work to be done there's like it's not just the planning of the funeral like there's advocacy work and intervention work and part you know and community work that yeah. comes along with this journey yeah. um, and you don't necessarily want to be a part of it because you just don't it's, I'd rather be doing something else community wise but um, that's part of our role now and so I, I love yeah. the community work and yeah when I retire from my job it's not just because they broke me mentally but right. you know I just feel like it was my time you yeah know? I was being called to do something yeah. else yeah did I have to worry about how I was gonna pay some bills I still worry, worry about that the, yeah I can tell you a little bit more but I'm not gonna go into <laughs> details about that but yeah this this is what I was called to, to do, do. And yeah I have to follow. I got you. Absolutely. What he says. Yeah. And even though I did it kicking and screaming and yeah. pulling my hair, yeah. I still have to do the work. Yeah. Yeah. We absolutely. still have to, to do, do the, the work. work. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and I know. I, yeah. There's a lot of people don't understand the work. Yeah. We don't just show up at, commu- at 
kind of like visuals. Right. We talk to moms sometime all day long. All we night show long. up Absolutely. to court um, proceedings. proceedings yeah. We go to the grave sites. We are yeah. there. This yeah. is a constant job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it doesn't go away. Absolutely. It and I think that's the part that a lot of people, it's, it doesn't, for us, it doesn't end after the funeral. It doesn't. And, and the crazy there's, thing there's, is, there's a whole work. All yeah. the calls and the texts and everything yeah. dissipate. Yeah. Everybody just forget, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're li- people okay, going with their lives. Home, yeah, people going with their lives. Yeah. In the background, you done fell apart and, yeah. and glued yourself back together yeah. a few times. Yeah. Like, I tell people all the time, like, you know, most days I'm good, but there are definitely days where it's coming apart, you know, and I'm I'm in the house and trying to put it together Mm -hmm. and figure it out. And, you know, and that's just part of the journey. Um, So let's let's talk about the the picnic. What's going to be happening at the picnic for family members to come and hang out with us? So we're going to have a couple of tables there, you know, for them to get more information, like for mom demand action. Yeah. Um, Nicole Williams, her son was murdered. Yeah. A few years ago go back on 43rd in Vermont mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and then yeah. we're gonna have Kendra she's um she sells Prime America sh- insurance yes. her son was just murdered mm, mm. probably three weeks ago wow Jesus. so we're gonna have p- people there with with their tables we want yeah. people to bring the kids out I have this thing where when I do events in honor of my son yeah, yeah. I use for Christmas yes I usually say I hold the people's kids hostage for four mm. hours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's not necessarily holding them hostage. It's right. letting them play and letting them be, be kids. kids. Because right. Just we allow grow them to up be so, so fast Absolutely. that we kind of miss yeah. the part of being a child. Yeah. And then yeah. before you know it, for us, our kids' lives are taken. Yeah. And I'm like, well. Yeah. So for four hours, we want your kids to come out and be children. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and not not. And just parents, kids. you come and have you, a good time exactly. too. Exactly. You come and play. You, I want you, you, your mothers, you yeah. adults that's coming come and play tap into your inner child yeah. Yeah. and and get to enjoy life. Take yeah. your shoes off, feel that that grass in your toes, and yeah. get yourself grounded. Yeah. Because that's a whole nother department. And that's a whole nother subject. Right. About <laughs> chakras, but we have to get grounded in life, and, yeah. and people don't understand that. Like if, if our foundation is threatened, right. Everything, everything within us yeah so if you're not secure about what's going on right. within your own space absolutely i mean you're not secure with what's going on around you absolutely and before you knew it you didn't just yeah. kick everybody out because you don't know who's making you absolutely. feel insecure yeah and yeah. unstable within your own foundation yeah, yeah. so yeah <laughs> so come and have a good time yes. and, and this is really a day An opportunity for a healing space This is yes, an opportunity right. for a healing space So come with your stories Come the best way you can Come however you can mm-hmm. We want to see especially all the moms and the children I'll be bringing my children and my grandchildren Because my son did leave us Two beautiful grandchildren um, And so you know So come out and hang out with us So let's. And if you're just tuning in to iHeart iTunes Accelerated Radio and all my Facebook livers. Hey, y'all, we love you just the same. I need some heart love going up. I need some more heart love. I am with my friend, having conversations with my friend, my sister friend, Demisha Lofton Thomas of the crew. And the crew is made up of mothers who have lost their children Mm -hmm. uh, to gun violence, street violence. Um, And I was introduced to them a few years ago, uh, right after following Daniel's uh, life being taken. And now I get to, you know, be a part of this healing circle. So we want you to join us okay so let's give them all the details sunday july 20 23rd 23rd at what time from 11 a.m to 6 p.m we will be at magic johnson park located yes. between avalon and central you enter yes. on the el segundo side you will see us off to the side closer to the yeah. i guess you want to call that the recreation room? yeah recreation room yeah, yeah we, we will be located in that area there and I encourage you, you know, if you lost a child, please come out. Yes. If you didn't lose a child, please come out. And you understand (laughs) what we are not understand, but you feel some type of sympathy in your heart. Please come out. Please come out. Please come out. And and just, you know, sometime we just need a little hug. Yeah. Hang out with us. And and dads, we want you to come as well. Um, We know that our fathers are go through it as well. Um, And, you know, so we are here for you also. Um, And if they want to make a donation, you can cash app the brownie lady t h a b r o 
W N I E L A D Y, the Brownie Lady Cash App, and send a donation. If you can't make it, or you can make it, but you want to support, you can send a donation there. Um, and Lamisha, how? I mean, Demisha, I'm calling you Lamisha. Demisha, how can people find you on social media if they want to ask more questions, know more about the crew? Um, where can they find you on all the I, social I'm medias? I'm also the Brown Lady on Instagram. The Brown Lady. The, on Instagram. the Brownie Lady on on Instagram and Do on Facebook. Do you make Facebook. brownies? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, we'll talk about that. <laughs> I love how you whispered in the mic. <laughs> yeah, but not that guy. <laughs> um, I love it. I love it. <laughs> it was the whisper in the mic for me. <laughs> yeah, but not that guy. Yeah, but they just heard you anyway. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Ain't no judgment here, sis. Look, when, when, when I, look, I see a psychiatrist, right? And they give me this medication, uh-huh. and it, it wasn't working for me, so yeah. I just stopped taking it. I got you. So I make butter because it helps me with my anxiety. So yeah. when the psychiatrist say, Do you, are you taking your meds? I'll be like, yeah. I'm taking, make it. I'm yeah, taking meds. So... <laughs> So the brownie lady the brownie on lady Instagram, on Instagram, and yes. on Facebook, I am Demisha. That's D E M, I C H A. Yes. Lofton, L O F, as in Frank. T O N. Yes. Hyphen Thomas. T H O M A S. Yes. And Wonderful. the what is that? What is that little picture? The profile picture? Yes. It would have the flyer um, for the on, picnic. On the profile for the picnic. Yeah. So listen, y'all and come the, out and hang with us next Sunday, July 22nd for the picnic. What's the name of the picnic? I, I don't remember on the I flyer. just called it the crew. The crew. The, the yeah, crew. Yeah. Hashtag yeah, crew our kids picnic. life matter too. Yeah. So the profile picture would be um, the picnic flyer and yeah. then... This would be yeah. Let me the show backdrop. your son's picture. So this is her. This is your beautiful, her beautiful son, her beautiful son, and we thank God for his life. Amen. So yes. thank you. So you'll thank see you. that as well. Yes. Um, and so and, and again, if anybody wants any information more about the crew, how to get connected, hit up me or Jamisha, and we'll put you in touch. Yes. I'll put you in touch with her or hit Jamisha up because um, we want to be of support to any mother out there that hasn't found community. And again, as I shared earlier, at first, you know the my, the hurt part of me did not want to be in this community and you know was still in that uh the phase because there are you know phases to grief and accept i hadn't gotten to acceptance yet Mm -hmm. um and i was still in disbelief for a long time um but once i was was able to get to acceptance then i was at you know god had it that brother mustafa introduced us and and i'm so very grateful for that and finding community um and if you see the banner and there's a beautiful banner that's got so many pictures of uh, so many young men and women and children whose lives have been taken um, in these streets and so you know if you see the banner if you you know yeah. see the banner you'll see Daniel you'll see her son and so many others and you don't have to know these kids you don't have to know these young adults you don't have to know the, the, the guys or the girls but here's what I want you to do pray for the families yeah. pray for the moms Please. pray for the dads pray for the siblings pray for the cousins pray for their children um, pray for the families when you see this banner um, you don't have to know anybody on there but if you do you know pray yes, yeah be yes, keep we, people we, lifted because it, it is it is a journey that is never ending and there's so much that happens behind the scenes that people don't recognize and don't realize and we don't hold you accountable for that because you've not gone through this process That's you've right. not gone through this journey this has not been your traumatic experience so we don't hold you accountable to what you don't know but we do invite you to join us next Sunday be part of the healing process part of the healing journey so um, next Sunday yes. 23rd, 23rd from 11 to five magic johnson park and we're going to be on the what side on the elsa, elsa gunda, gunda side. on the elsa gunda side so we want you all to come out and hang out with the crew at the crew picnic um and um again blessed to be able to work alongside um some other community leaders around you know working with the da's office for victim families and then i see you've got crime your survivors. crime survivors shirt on yeah, and so there's a well. yeah so there's a lot of organizations um and a lot of of families 
ladies that are that have their own nonprofits. We start a nonprofit in Daniel's honor that's doing work to build community. Mm-hmm. So know that you know it, um, in our we are turning our pain into purpose, and this is one of those ways that we're turning pain into purpose. And so what I also want to offer to anyone that's listening to I Heart I to celebrate it on my Facebook livers is that whatever you're going through, God can help all of us turn our pain into purpose. Right. Demisha and I are turning our pain into purpose in this way by being there for other mothers whose children have lives have been taken. Um, you know, with the work through the crew and others that are doing um, work in the community. But whatever your pain point is, whatever you find life has hit you traumatically, uh, we want, if our lives mean anything, our hope that our lives mean that you can make it, number one. God is able, number two. But there's also purpose that can come out of the pain that we experience, um, whether it's individual and or collective. There's purpose that can come out of the pain we experience. So we appreciate each and every one of you joining us tonight. Hey, to all my Facebook livers, y'all give us some heart love um, and share this message out, y'all. Share this message out if you're listening. All my replay viewers love you just the, the same. Share this out because we want to see the community come out and join us on the 23rd magic johnson park 11 to 5 and before that you said earlier oh that peace the ride. peace ride and which is led by brother um uh, uh tony muhammad tony Mah- brother um, muhammad DJ, leads the peace ride yeah the rock yeah um they they oversee the peace the, ride with, with of course right. the, the peace ride board and i was just I don't have my glasses on, but I can see some of it. <laughs> yeah. And EJ said, actually, it's going to be only one ride. So that ride is going to take place at 11, and they're going to... And then conclude at the park. Yes. So those that are... So if you can, so if you want to join the Peace Ride, you said 105th and... No, 115th. 115th. Uh, 115th. And Figueroa. And the Green Line Station. Right. It, if you want to be part of the Peace Ride. The yeah. motorcycles, the car vets, the low riders, they would yeah. all be there. Some moms would be there wherever the yeah. location that they're going to hit. That person would be there. And they're going to join us at the park. So yes. you have two opportunities to join us. All right. So we love you all. Thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you, Demisha. You're I welcome. appreciate you, my sister. Um, and um, we love you all. Blessings to you all. We hope to see many of you next Sunday, the 22nd at 11 at Magic Johnson Park. We out, y'all. Peace. Here we go.